Today we're going to be looking at quadratic versus linear models. This is section 2.5 and 5.1 in the Algebra 2 book. 2.5 goes with the linear models, 5.1 goes with the quadratic models. Linear is going to graph as a straight line, quadratic is going to graph as a parabola. Linear has a regular x in the equation and quadratic has uh, an x squared in the equation. When you're looking at your equation to tell whether it's linear or quadratic, if you have an x squared, you're quadratic. If you have a regular x, you're linear. Look at the first example. If you FOIL out the parentheses, you'll get 12 plus 3x minus 4x minus x squared and then minus 5. We have an x squared term, therefore this is a quadratic equation. Try to FOIL the next one. Pause until you're ready. When you FOIL what's in parentheses, we get x squared minus 3x plus 5x minus 15 and then later on we have a minus x squared and a plus 10x. Because the x squared and the minus, 10 x, or minus x squared cancel out, therefore we don't have the x squared term like we think we have, so this is a regular linear equation. On the next one you have a regular x, no squaring, no foiling that needs to be done, this is a linear equation. On the last one you have an x squared term, nothing is going to cancel, therefore it's a quadratic equation. Okay, looking at a set of data and trying to find a linear equation. I'm telling you ahead of time that this is a linear um, set of data. We're going to find the calculation for the line of best fit or the line that goes through your data points. You're going to use the stat button on your calculator which is in the middle of your um, keypad. When you get into stat, push edit, put the x values in L1 and the y values in L2. If you have any data values in L1 and L2 already, you want to scroll up to the top so that the L1 or the L2 is highlighted, hit clear, not delete, but clear, and scroll back down and then it will clear out any old entries. When you get your data values entered into your calculator, you want to go to stat, calculate, and pick number 4 for linear regression, AX plus B, hit enter. Stat, calculate, number 4, and hit enter. Take a minute to do this one and get your equation. You should get the equation y equals 2x plus 1. You want to pause the video until you can get the equation y equals 2x plus 1. Make sure that everyone can get that equation. Okay, try these two. I want you to find the equation for the line of best fit, and then I'll show you how to plug in when x is 7 to evaluate for y. Pause until you're ready to go over them. Stat edit. X's go in L1, Y's go in L2. If you have any old data values in your calculator, scroll up to the top of L1 or to the top of L2, hit clear and scroll back down. It'll clear out all those old entries. Stat calculate number four and hit enter. The first equation, Y equals negative 1.5X plus three. Now to evaluate this one, X is seven, we plug seven into our equation as X and type in negative 1.5 times seven plus 3, we get an answer of negative 7.5. This is the value of y when x is 7. Look at the second equation. You should get y equals 4x plus 17. Plug 7 in as x. 4 times 7 plus 17 is 45. And this is the value of y when x is 7. Now we're going to try a quadratic model. So I'm telling you in this data set it's going to be quadratic or a parabola shape. Stat edit to put in your values. L1s go um, for the x's, L2 for the y's. Remember if you have any old data values in there you can scroll up to the top of L1 or to the top of L2. Hit clear and scroll back down and it will clear out all those old entries. Stat calculate. Number 5 for quadratic regression when you're ready, quad reg. Make sure you can get the equation y equals 2x squared minus 8x plus 8. Pause the video until everyone gets this answer and you're ready to go on. Okay, here's two more for you to try. Pause until you're ready. On the first equation, you should get y equals negative 1.75x squared plus 6.75x minus 4.25. When you plug in 7 as x, we're doing negative 1.75 times 7 squared plus 6.75 times 7 minus 4.25, and we get the value of negative 42.75 for an answer. On the second equation, 
round to like three decimal places. Negative 0.143x squared plus 5.097x plus 16.457. Now we're plugging in 7 as x and evaluating this in our calculator. So you get a final answer of about 45.129 if you round to three decimal places. When you have a graph, to find the equation for that model, these are quadratics, we want to pick a minimum of three points. So here are three points for my first equation. Negative 1, 1 is a point on the graph. Positive 1, negative 1 is a point on the graph. And positive 3, 1 is a point on the graph. Enter these in your calculator in stat edit as L1 and L2, and then stat calculate quadratic regression or number 5 to get your equation. Check your answer when you get it to make sure that you can get 0.5x squared minus 1x minus 0.5. Try the next one. Coordinates. I picked three points on my uh, parabola that I saw. I had a point at 4, 5, I had a point at 5, 1, and I had a point at 6, 5. Now I want to enter these in my calculator, a stat edit, L1 and L2, then stat calculate quadratic regression. You should get y equals 4x squared minus 40x plus 101 as your equation. Pause the video until everyone can get this equation. Linear or quadratic. If they don't tell you what kind of model it is, then you have to look at a picture to see is my data making a straight line or is my data making a parabola. Stat edit to enter your points just like normal. L1 is the x's, L2 is the y's. Now we're not ready to calculate the equation because we don't know what type it is. So when you get your data values entered, go to second, which is the blue key, y equals turn on plot 1, go to zoom, and number 9 where it says zoom stat. This will show you a picture of what the data looks like. When you look at the data of the one on the left side of your slide, you should see a parabola shape to this. That means that's quadratic. Then you can go back to stat, calculate number 5 for quadratic, and you get the equation y equals 1x squared. You can drop the plus 0x and the plus 0. Those are not important. When you look at a data, or when you look at a picture of the second data set, you should see a linear shape to it. So this is a linear graph. Stat, calculate number 4 for linear and hit enter, and you'll get the equation y equals 5x plus 7.